All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to... Can I... There we go, get out of here. Welcome back to Synthetic. I really enjoyed this last time we played, so let's, let's try this character. Loadout, LMG Sentry Turret, Dragon's Master Key. Quick short range shotgun blast using custom Dragon's Breath incendiary ammo. Hmm. Wait, click to replace. Oh. Okay, so I can actually... We have different things that we can start our loadout with. So, a bunch of explosives. I like the suitcase sentry. Okay, so this is unlocked. Field supply, ammo, canister to be used by all team members. And also heals allies. First recycled item grants a replacement of the same rarity and two plating. And increases recycling gain by a bunch. Okay. I like this guy. Drone zeal, followed by an untargetable blackjack drone, firing burning laser shots near enemies. Using items grants drone zeal power, increasing their fire rate as well as range. Stacks up to 20 times. This is exciting. I like this. Okay. So I got the suitcase turrets. I've got sentry turret and auto overclocker. Empowers a friendly unit near the crosshair, granting a fire rate and... Okay, that one's not the greatest. Can be stacked and lasts indefinitely on... Oh. Never mind. Fire rate and max health boost at the cost of 25 scrap. So if I did... Three? Hopefully that's improved that little sucker. So it cost me some money, but I, I guess I can just make him better. All right, it's coward time. I like coward time. So it looks like that thing slowly runs out of health occasionally. I, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine with all of this. Okay, we do have to worry about things being on long cooldown. So it doesn't look like the sentry turret is the best thing to just leave, but that's okay. Let's see, grab another bolt. Gotta make sure I grab all the collectibles. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Do a decent chunk of damage with this thing. Uh. Okay. Just reload. Let's just let that hang out there. Roomba. Bad Roomba. Thank you, Shell. Uh, get a K7 competition, which, I mean, is better than the starting pistol. I wonder if you can actually increase the rarity on the starting pistol. Well, I'm going to try the suitcase turret as well. Because I get more of those as we, as we play. Unless I'm mistaken. So yeah, I can just... I can just plunk more down kind of whenever I feel like it. Not always, but still. Okay, now that I'm well fed and ready to go, let's let's see how far we get with this. The SMG doesn't seem terrible. I'll have to look at the uh, the item rarities at some point. Did they kill my turret? They did kill my turret. Well, that's not really a problem. Okay, module core. Selecting one of... Oh. Oh, okay. All items grant five max health and heal for the same time on activation. Stacks 50 times. Item activations have a 2% chance of resetting cooldowns. We're picking up power-ups, heals for health, and all power-ups last seven seconds longer. I'm going to go for well-oiled. A little bit of extra HP seems like it would be useful. And we get a DMR security turret. To place a stationary range turret, attacking enemies at long range. Okay, so I just press four. So we have a sniper turret on top of everything else. So I can buy a living bomb... Twin Link or Throwing Stars. 
So purple is better than blue. I don't have that much money, so I guess we're just going to wait. At least in this regard. Now I don't really have much for healing, do I? Okay. So I, I should play more cowardly. But now I've got multiple turrets. Okay. Fortunately, that one's just about down. But yeah, I've got a lot of different turrets that I can summon kind of whenever I feel like it. I like this SMG. It certainly does leave a little bit to be desired in terms of uh, ammo capacity. But I think that's something that actually does get better as you uh, as you play more of this. And get some more weapon upgrade kits. Okay, speaking of ammo. There's a bolt. I'd say keep an eye out for those, but... I'm not going to... I'm usually going to move on before anybody ever tells me that those exist. So I think I'm going to save my money. I'd like to pick up some upgrades, but let's let's see if they're really good stuff or for the upgrades. Why did I do that? Well, there we go. Okay. There we go. Got another bolt. If I remember right, getting all the bolts actually really does net you something good. Oh, that's my own. Well, that was foolish. Okay. Nope, that's done. Okay, back to the pistol. Pistol might just be better for me overall. That accuracy rating is super good. Ow. So it doesn't look like this character has nearly as many cool proc effects. But maybe that's kind of part of it. Okay. Free weapon. Ooh. Yoko look... That's a... Uh, that's a bit of a reference. Dang. Okay, what is this? What are you? First drop weapon comes in an ultra variant. Ricochets deal extra damage. All bullets have a chance to ricochet. All items cool down faster than the next... Item found is heavily upgraded. Well, one hell of a out. Okay, I must have gotten acided real bad. back. Avoid. We get some health back. That's good. I do a shit ton of damage. Never mind, I'm dead. Damn it. The acid is bad for you. I don't know where I took all that damage, but still. Okay. Let's try that again. The extra difficulty is rough, but kind of necessary. Uh, did I level up? No. I did not. So, I like the suitcase sentry. Let's see what else we have. Acid grenades. I don't really want the master key. I liked the idea of the auto overclocker. May maybe. Gains one charge for every double kill and two for triple kills. Interesting. What I really want is the missile drone. 
Okay, no, I'll, I'll stick with the suitcase sentry. Oh, I do get a new unlock. New specialist module. Sun rising. Hmm. Every 300 heat produced passively increases burn and crit damage by 1%. Stacks 40 times and reaching the max heals to full HP once. Eh. I like transmute better. Yeah, I like that sniper rifle. It seemed like it had serious potential. Let's see, there we go. It seemed like it had serious potential, but this character is going to take some getting used to. Namely, the absolute lack of HP and shield compared to the last character. You'd think summoning things would be easy mode. And I think if I'd actually not just gotten Gibbs earlier, this wouldn't have been so bad. There we go. All right, gotta keep an eye out for cool loot though, because there's bolts, there's mod, there's bolts, there's cores. Here's one. There's one. Getting those gets you the rare stuff for free, from what I remember. I don't know if there's one of each on every level. I think there's only a certain amount. Okay, I don't see anything down here. But yeah, if I can actually get this character to be good, I could see him being real easy for boss fights and whatnot. Just drop a turret and bail. Okay, what do you got for me? Eh, one second. There we go. So what do you got? Gear up unit, plating upgrade. Yes or no? Well, I don't have enough money. Get a module core. Okay. Sun rising or starting pistols and weapons come in a non standard variant. Weapon upgrade shops cost less. Always that. Sun rising seems kind of neat. But the discount seems real helpful. There we go. Well, speaking of bolts and modules, or bolts and cores. I, I like this weapon. It's got punch. Okay, stay away from the shotgun, guys. Yeah, we're all good. How are things going today? Very well. I Terrario's real fun. Kind of go figure. Playing with my brother is always, always kind of neat because I don't get to play with him much. Kills increase healing gain by 17%. Last seconds. Headshots deal more damage. Increases chance of finding damage pickups by 86%. Yeah, let's go for that. Unfortunately, I don't actually know if my turrets benefit from that in the slightest. But getting damage power up seems like a decent thing. Quick sling. When ready, switching weapons grants a higher fire rate. Mm. That seems decidedly it's okay. Okay, got him. Don't see anything else. Cycle this out. Do we go back to that original shop? Fastling seems like... Okay. It seems really good for somebody else. Oh, the game is overpowering your voice a bit. 
I think I know why. I think the biggest big issue is yeah, I'll just turn it down. I can't control the sound effects. Our plating. Weapon hits destroy additional plating. Okay. Weapon hits destroy one additional plating, and destroying plating has a chance to absorb it, granting one plating for the user. Ooh. Okay, that's actually kind of good. The trigger chance is 9%, though. Let's see, is that a literal Roomba down there as an ambient object? Yes. I use the turrets to flank. I usually prefer to use the turrets as a distraction. So I guess yes. Ow. Oh. That's what got me. I didn't realize I was getting bombarded. Okay. Not great at those quick time events yet. Tactical Observer. I'm getting a lot of SMG-ish things. A lot of burst fire SMGs. Can't say... I feel like complaining too much. It seems decent. Let's see. We've definitely got an upper area that I should probably check out. Okay. What do we got? Ow. Ow. That's a terrible time for a jam. Alright, I get a smidge of HP back. Man, I was spoiled the last time I played this. The other character just had, like, constant, uh, decent heals. This guy does not, and that's a bit of a travesty. So we do not want the gladiator. Ripjack seems like it might be kind of neat. Okay, there we go. Let's see. New unlock. Oh, there's... Ow, ow, ow. Well, that got... That sucked. I got stuck on a thing? I'm not really sure. Not as much data as I'm looking for. What do we get? Inner fire. I really wish you would tell me what that did. Inner fire. 20 health regeneration while in combat for a maximum of 10 seconds. Instantly... I gotta go for that. We need healing. Oh, there we go. Inner fire and transmute. Perfect. I'm gonna keep rolling with this guy for a little while. He seems like he'd be great. Yeah, the wire got you. I don't think it was the wire. I think I was just kind of stuck on an edge, and it wouldn't let me go. Because it wasn't that I was slowed, it's that I couldn't move. Like, I was trying to, um... I was trying to cycle around a corner, and it straight up was not taking. And I'm not sure why. It doesn't help that I'm not much of a, uh... I'm honestly not much of a SMG kind of guy. I'm real big on, on slow firing, fairly accurate heavy hitting weapons, as opposed to, like, spray and pray. 
I've done spray and pray, but even then I was... <sighs> Kills, roll the dice, increase or decrease crit chance. But the max stack is... Is reached, all curses are cleansed. Interesting. Well, that's kind of helpful, actually. Okay, so the exit's down there. I'm not sure if I deserve that. Okay. I'm going to very quick look over it. There we go. We got a bolt. Hey, thank you, DHAX, for the raid, and welcome. How are you doing tonight? Oh, we got a med kit. Oh, shoot. When did I take all that damage? Gosh. I am just kind of terrible. How do I do inner fire? It says grants health regen for 10 seconds, but it doesn't say when that activates. Oh, I don't see another module here. I'm sure it's around. I'm trying to keep an eye out for those cores, but I was not paying full attention. Clearly I should have been. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna get out of here. Gotta be in combat for 10 seconds, if I recall. Oh. Okay. So multiply his luck chances. I'm just gonna... Oh, jammed. Okay. Gonna figure that out. I wanted to look at that perk some more. Yeah, the one problem is I think I kill things a little too fast, which is kind of good. Uh, weapon hits have a chance to un unleash custom hyperblades at high speed and may cause st strong bleeding and bouncing many times. Cool down 18 seconds. That sounds kind of fun. Well, that's a pretty damn good proc effect. Okay, grab those. Avoid the rest. Avoid the stupid laser turrets. It's so far so good. Nope. They're all just kind of auto-dying. At the best of my saw blades and or other things. I Nope. There we go. Really wanted that, uh... Ow! Wow, that hurt. Let's see, I really wanted that, that item cooldown perk that we picked up last time. That would have been amazing. Unfortunately, lost it almost immediately. Okay, you're gaining HP as you started fighting. So I, I think it just ticks up very slowly. Up. Okay. I don't have that much money. I don't want that. I don't want the shield decoy. I'd love to get fan and knives. Got to be a bolt around here. I'm just totally missing. Oh, there it is. They're freaking sneaky. But it's important. Okay, I wanted to take a look at this thing. Kills roll the dice. Increase or decrease crit chance. Max stack is reached. All curses are cleansed. Got it. 
Uh, let's see. Let's keep going for the high alert because I'm a risky person and it's a terrible idea. I'm assuming the higher the, uh... The higher the, like, difficulty level. Ooh. Okay. Assaulting Bandit. Okay, he's dead. I'm assuming the higher the difficulty, the better the reward. I could be very wrong. I'm not actually sure how this game functions. I've just kind of been playing it and enjoying it without actually... Well, it's not like it really communicates a lot of these things. I'm mean, assuming it's more of like a community knowledge slash like... I'm just going to leave them with friend bot there. Get rid of those. Stay away from the missiles. Ow. That's why I want to be able to switch weapons, but I didn't get new. I got a nail gun? Radio! I got a nail gun! Hey, there's the bolt. Okay. I get the very distinct feeling this nail gun is kind of dumb. I'm going to gladly use it. But compared to most of the weapons that I've encountered so far in the game, it definitely feels a little bit on the Pe Peasley side. <laughs> Nailed it. Go to jail. Okay. Let's see. I got my ripsaw up. Oh. That's the reason why the nail gun is kind of good. I think the nail gun's got an infinite ammo. Ugh. So if I can mod it to not be garbage, it would be useful. As it stands, it's on the Peaslier side. Looks like it fires a little faster, too. For a second, everything is ouch. Okay, there was somebody lobbing nades at me, wasn't there? Or did they already die? No, I guess they're dead. Hmm. Ouch. Okay. Experimental core body upgrade set. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Percentual chance to critically strike with weapon attacks, dealing additional damage. Multiple multiplies pickup and chest amount, as well as the chance of finding better chests. Or crit chance. Funny scavenging. I know I've already got some. Okay, can I actually see? 35. Okay. My chest rarity is up. And my pickup and scavenging abilities are real nice. I know I can f spec further into crit, but I figure that's already kind of at a decent spot. And better loot boxes just sounds amazing. Especially considering I was given a freaking nail gun uh, as my first gun on this run. And that's not, uh, it's not the happiest place on Earth, let me tell you.
I'm gonna switch back to the pistol. I like the idea of the nail gun, but... Okay. So far, so good. Get a med kit. We got an upgrade kit. I think I'm going to sit on that one for a little while. Okay, there we go. Got a couple of these things. Avoid that man. Yeah, I was hoping the health regen would be a little bit better. Like I was I was expecting it would be along the veins of uh same vein as like 20 20 HP per second for 10 seconds whenever I enter combat. But I guess that would be 200 HP more or less every time we fight. Which is a little strong. Okay, we've got a, another random shield man that is slowly sneaking towards me. I can see him over there. He know he knows I know that he exists there. Yeah, my little drone guy keeps uh setting off my saw blade. Tragic. Not a big deal, but still. I wonder if doing tra uh, target practice has any Easter eggs. Maybe if you take all of them out simultaneously. Hard to say. So, do I upgrade my turret? Pretty much, yeah. I do not have any more money, but I will continue to pump money into this sucker because the shorter the cooldown on this thing, the better. Okay, new weapon. Better than the previous. A heavy flat cannon. That sounds pretty fun. Okay, reduce recoil. Last bullet in each mag does bonus damage and either stuns or causes burning. Or removes bullet damage decrease over distance. Or improves distance damage increase. Go titanium rifling. That seems like a good idea. This thing is more of a shotgun than anything else. Actually, it looks like it's got a solid AOE. But I can't complain about that. Okay, I'm gonna hide in here for a second, get my shields back. Yeah, so if there's groups of enemies in an area, it'll just demolish them. Okay. Leave friend gun there. Friend gun does satisfying amounts of damage. I like him. I want to upgrade him further so he is just truly true goofy. grab shield regen as I'm near death. And that's a bad place to be. Well, we got some ammo here. That's health. Barely. That's a bit more.
Well, if they stack up, I can effectively just delete them from the universe. That's kind of rad. Not gonna lie. Alright. Let's upgrade this sucker again. What do we get? Burst fire. Reduces delay. Kills reduce cooldowns of all items by a second and decreases weapon deviation. Uh, let's go for the cooldowns of items. The more I can pop my turret... I mean, honestly, the true ideal is having multiple turrets out at the same time. If I can manage that, we have, we have hit peak... Peak Engineer. Peak, peak Sentry Man. It's just shooting at the stupid... Eh, whatever, it's fine. Oh! Because I'm in combat against these drones, I just stay at full health always. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything else. I keep wanting to find these cores, but they're kind of rare. Alright, and yes. I will continue to upgrade this thing until it's got a cooldown uh, equal to the duration. Because that is my plan. And his boss. Oh, that was quick. A couple of bad status effects, but that was quick. Alright, let's switch back to the heavy flat cannon. Let's keep upgrading it. As a laser trail. Improved accuracy when moving and reduced bullet deviation. Bullets are directed towards... Uh, let's see. Hmm. I like the barebone allocator. Go for that. I run out of shields not infrequently here. And giving this sucker uh bullet regen does not seem like a terrible idea. Okay, anything else? No. Okay. We have an eraser DMR. I like that. I wish I could... I wish I could scrap one of these things. But, I don't think I can. Alright, let's get out of here. Have fun with friend turret. Whoa! Well, that wasn't fair. Okay. Laser weapons fire 30% faster, produce less heat. Oh. Damn. I like these class talents. They're great. Let's switch let's switch characters though. Clearly engineer isn't working great for me. Uh let's try sniper maybe. I liked breacher. What were the breacher perks? Because we had a couple. Health regen and crit chance below a certain amount. That's not bad. Also entering rooms heals you. Bashing reloads a shot. Take half damage from bleeding. Cool. What are the other perks that we picked up? 